Welcome to Swiss Hammer, your channel for modeling in Warhammer 40k. Here you will find tools and guides as versatile as a Swiss army knife to help you build your army. My name is Temmel and I will be guiding you through this video. In case you end up liking this content, please feel free to subscribe. With that out of the way, let's get started. In this video, we are going to have a look at the Primaris Eliminators and how to magnetize their different weapon options. Additionally, we will also take a look at how to swap the left shoulder pad, if for instance you wanted to recruit them to the Death Watch. The models used in this video are the box of three Eliminators currently found in the official Games Workshop stores. This box includes one Sergeant and two Eliminators with all the weapons available as per their current datasheet in the 9th edition Codex. The main difference between the Sergeant and the regular Eliminators is the head as well as the sergeant's additional weapon loadout. In this guide we are going to assemble all three models in a way that all of the models can use both the sniper rifle as well as the last fusil. Additionally, one model will be able to take the third option as well, the instigator bolt carbine and the binoculars. This was my primary goal. As a second goal, I wanted the regular Eliminators to be able to display the Death Watch pauldron. This is due to their inclusion in the new Spectre skill team, which can take regular Eliminators, but not the Sergeant. In order to meet these two goals, I have built the models as following. The Eliminator Sergeant will be built as a regular Eliminator. This is easily achieved by simply taking another headpiece instead of the one for the sergeant. As marked on the assembly sheet, there is one stance that uses the exact same body parts for both the sniper rifle as well as the last fusil. Naturally, we are going to pick this stance to assemble our first eliminator. But instead of gluing on the weapons, we are going to insert magnets in both the arms or wrists as well as the counterparts on the two weapons. Personally, I'm using 3mm per 1mm magnets for this and a 3mm hand drill to do the holes. To get them centered properly, I use a smaller drill first. Make sure to use super glue and preferably wait the day for everything to fully dry. Additionally, the left arm labeled as number 33 is a separate piece that can be adjusted to fit the Death Watch pauldron. For this, we can use a clipper and remove the existing pauldron, then glue on the Death Watch pauldron instead. Any potential gaps can be filled with green stuff. Moving on to Eliminator 1 on the assembly sheet. This works pretty much the same as the first. I highlighted the stance for which both weapons can be used. As before, you put in the magnets and replace the pauldron if needed. On a side note, I personally remove the cable running from the last fusil to the eye socket of the Eliminator, as I like to run a more generic headpiece that fits all loadouts. I suppose that the Eliminator doesn't mind the lack of a cable poking in his eye anyway. With Eliminator 1 done, we are moving on to Eliminator 2, which will be my Sergeant. This for two reasons. First, the kneeling stance happens to go well with all three loadouts. Additionally, his pauldrons are completely covered by the cloak and as such a conversion to Death Watch is not that attractive. 
As a Spectre skill team cannot hold the sergeant anyway, I took the least visually appealing model for that role. If you wanted to make him look like the actual sergeant, simply attach the correct head. You might have to clip away on the neck a bit and fill it back up with green stuff. It is worth mentioning that if you really wanted to go all the way, you could clip away the existing shoulder and parts of the cloak, add the Death Watch pauldron and then replicate the cloak over it with the help of green stuff. Ultimately, this is a lot of work and there is barely any pauldron to be seen underneath the cloak. With the magnets done as before, we are now also able to use the instigator bolt carbine and the binoculars on this model. As you can see in this ongoing video, the converted sergeant can now use all of his three weapon loadouts. The regular eliminators can use both the sniper rifle and the last fusil. So, here we have it, the eliminators with all the weapon options available thanks to magnetizing, as well as a way to recruit them for the death watch. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and will soon be doing similar projects of your own. If you do so, please make sure to share them in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions on what Space Marine models I shall cover next, please let me know in the comments. And if this video has been helpful, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Thank you again and see you soon.